that which is of eternal significance is worth pursuing and protecting. Now, Contending for the Faith. Hey friends, so delighted that you joined us across your Christian television network or maybe you're watching on a digital media platform. And it's an honor and a privilege to sit down with someone I've known for at least 25 years who is, who is making an eternal global impact around the world in over 70 countries. Millions of people's lives have been changed and found the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to welcome none other than missionary evangelist, Dr. Daniel King. Hey, it's so great to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm honored and blessed to be able to sit down with you. It's been a long time since we've connected and seen each other, but um, I know you've always remained faithful to God's calling. Well, thank you. You know, my parents were missionaries in the country of Mexico. They moved there when I was 10 years old. And I believe that when you were in about seventh or eighth grade, <laughs> you were on a missions trip. You came down and worked with us in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, right across the border from yes. El Paso, Texas. And we went running through the streets, passing out yep. flyers Singing together, in the orphanages. knocking on all the doors, inviting people to come to the churches. And, and, and all the, the kids would come and there'd be too many kids kids to fit inside the church. So we'd block off the street in front of the church and minister to those children. And, and that was many years ago, many but you came down, you participated, and now look what yeah. God is doing through you. Ditto, and God ditto. is doing through me. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to just serve the Lord. I never forget that trip. It was a life-changing trip. And you've always had your hand in the plow doing missions, you, your family, and uh, it's incredible. And for you, you know, you always had a goal by the time of 30 to reach a million souls for Jesus. And by God's grace, you were able to do that. And we're not here to brag about, oh, look at my ministry, but just to brag on what Jesus has done and, and continues to do, because greater work shall we do, because he's went, <laughs> he went to the Father. And Amen. you're doing them. You're doing Yeah, them. It's, it's really amazing. When I was 15 years old, I was reading a success book. It said, if you want to be successful, you need to write down your goals. And one of the goals that they said would be good for young people is to try to become a millionaire by the age of 30. But I realized that because of my upbringing as a missionary in Mexico, that money was not what was important to me. What was important was souls. And so at the age of 15, I wrote down on a piece of paper, I, Daniel King, want to lead one million people to Jesus before I turn 30 years of age. Instead of trying to become a millionaire, I want to lead a million heirs into the kingdom of God. And so my passion has been for evangelism. My heroes were always people like T.L. Osborne, Oral Roberts, Billy Graham, Reinhard Bonnke. Mm. And I'd read their books. I'd see the pictures of all the people that they'd ministered to over the years. And God put that dream in my heart. And so I started going to different nations and just doing any outreach that I could do. When I was still a student at Oral Roberts University in undergrad, I did my first gospel crusade down in Honduras. Honduras, and I had to use big faith. We, we had to raise <laughs> money for that crusade, but I, I took a group of 10 students from ORU down with me, and in one week we ministered to 43,000 people, and so that was the launch of doing crusade evangelism. Wow. And then God continued to open up doors in, in different nations, and by the time I turned 30 years of age, we reached that goal of leading a million people in a salvation prayer. Awesome. And so now we've just gone over the two million mark. And mm. I was praying, I was asking God, what comes next? I felt like God said, go for a million souls every single year. And so in the natural, that seems impossible. Yeah. But with God, all things are possible. Come on, brother. And it is harvest time in the world today. Yes. There are nations all over the world that are ready to come to Jesus if someone will just go and tell them about Jesus mm. and preach the gospel to them. People are hungry and they're ready. And I believe that we're going to see the greatest harvest of souls in history mm. in just the next few years. And I'm just so excited that I get to be a part of it. I'm excited to be a part of it with you, to co-labor with you. And, you know, I concur with you. You know, the scripture says in Romans 8, 19, that creation eagerly awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. The world is crying out and you're out there manifesting your sonship position and authority in the earth, you, your wife, and your team. 
And, uh, and so uh, there's an old saying, teamwork makes the dream work. And you've been faithful to that. And the Lord brings people alongside to help you fulfill that calling. And we're going to give people that are watching an opportunity to help you continue to do what God has called you to do, to be part of. They may not be able to go. They can help you go, though, you know. But before we get into that, you know, you always were top of the class. You know, summa cum laude. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you were just, God has... Uh, anointed you, given you a brilliant mind, but you've always been one who follows the leading of the Spirit and not your intellect. Because we know that the things of the Spirit are not discerned by the natural mind, but it's your gift that makes room for you and brings you before great men. And God's given you many gifts, but the gift of, of, of healing and, and seeing people's lives not only um, uh, saved, but healed and then discipled. And part of that discipleship component is you've authored over 20 books. And, and you're still young, you know, still young. <laughs> Praise God. And some of the books, we'll show them on the screen, but talk about some of these key books that you have uh, written here. And then we'll talk about your latest book, Proof That God Is Real, in just a little bit. Yeah, I've written a, a bunch of books, and they're all available on my website, kingministries.com. Right there on the screen. And so this, this book is called Healing Power, Experiencing the Miracle Touch of Jesus. We have seen God do tremendous healing miracles. And so if you need healing, or if you know someone in your life who needs healing, this is a powerful book that will help you to build your faith for God's healing power in your life. I've also got this book, Soul Winning Inspiration for Leading People to Jesus. And so this book will inspire you to go and share your faith with others. And then this book, Welcome to the Kingdom, this book we've given away over half a million copies of this book in different nations, and we put it into different mm. languages. This book will tell you how to be saved, how to be healed, how to be filled with the Holy Spirit, how to walk in abundance with God. And so if you'll go to my website, kingministries.com, and give me your email address. There's a, a form there where yep. you can put in your email address. I'm going to send you absolutely free of charge three of my eBooks. And so if you'll put in your email, I'll just email those books to you Beautiful. as my gift to you. I want to sow these into your life. I love Beautiful. giving away books and, yeah. and these will be a, a tremendous blessing to yeah. you. And there's a lot of other books there and resources yeah. that you can check out yep. on the website. But just go to kingministries.com, mm -hmm. give me your email address, and, and you can have a book. Yep. Or, or if you don't have a computer in front of you right now, just pull out your cell phone and text yep. the word SOULS, S-O-U-L-S, to the number 22828. So you just type in 22828. 22828 and text the word souls and it'll ask you for your email address and I'll get those books sent over to you awesome. right away. And I know you're a person of your word and you will do it. And so thank God for that. And uh, you know, what I love is that you have been able to, to see the world, but you've always remembered um, to stay humble before the Lord. And sometimes people that are super smart intellectually uh, knowledge puffs you up sometimes, but you've always stayed the hallmark, and I appreciate that about you. And so you've been to 70 countries, but some of the latest countries that you've been to, what, what have you seen God doing, uh, Daniel? Yeah, just recently I was in the <coughs> nation of Tanzania, mm -hmm. and I was there at the invitation of evangelist Daniel Kalinda from Christ for All Nations. Mm -hmm. He's doing uh, multiple cities crusades, and mm -hmm. so he invited me to come and participate in one of his crusades. And along with that, we took students from Daniel Kalinda's evangelism boot camp. And so mm -hmm. I've been helping to train the mm -hmm. students. Last year, 50 students graduated from the evangelism boot camp. They went to Tanzania. They started going from school to school, preaching the gospel in the schools, taking a sound system out into a marketplace, just mm -hmm. setting it up and, and preaching the gospel. And, and in Tanzania, those students have seen over half a million people make commitments to follow Jesus. And so that's just a tremendous miracle. And then uh, I just got finished training this year's group. There was 96 students Praise in that God. group, and they're going to go to Tanzania, and, and they're going to lead even more people to Jesus. And so God's raising up this new generation mm. of evangelists yes. that are passionate and fired up, excited to, yeah. to preach the gospel. And I, I think that, that that's what God wants to do. He wants us to be passionate about yeah. sharing our faith with those who need Jesus. Yeah. We want to plunder hell and populate heaven, as That's Reinhard right. Bonnke used to say. <laughs> That's right. And uh, so that was Tanzania. Then uh, right after that, I was in the nation of Ethiopia. Mm. 
Mm. And that's one of the poorest countries in the it's world. It's one of right? the poorest <laughs> countries in the world. And we had scheduled a crusade in Ethiopia, but because of coronavirus, it, like right before, 24 hours before we were supposed to go, we had to cancel because mm. they said no more big meetings. Mm. And so we we're praying and say, God, you need to open the door. And so finally, the, the door opened back up. And, and we were able to Got go in, in and, real quick. Wow. And, and, and we went to this far away village, 10 hours over bumpy dirt roads to get there. <laughs> and we're there preaching and in this, thousands of people came from this entire region. And, and one night I preached on the paralyzed man who was let down through the roof. You remember the story oh, yeah. that Jesus was teaching. They brought the paralyzed man. They lower him in front of Jesus. And Jesus says three things to him. Jesus says, uh, be encouraged. Jesus says, son, your sins are forgiven. And Jesus says, get up, take up your bed and walk. Come and the on. man, he was uh, healed uh, mentally. Jesus mm. encouraged him, took away the depression, the sadness. He was healed spiritually. Jesus forgave mm. the man's sins. And then he was also healed physically. And so that's what Speak Jesus, to somebody that's that, what man. Jesus wants to do for you right now. Jesus wants to encourage you. Perhaps you've been sad. You've been lonely. Mm. You've, you've been going through some issues in your life. Well, right now, Jesus wants to say, be encouraged. You don't need to be sad any longer. You don't need to be discouraged any longer. You don't need to be fearful any longer. Why? Because Jesus is right there with you. And so if you cry out to Jesus, he will encourage you. He, he'll take away the sadness and he will fill your heart with gladness. He'll, he'll take away the pain and he will give you his healing power. He'll take away the fear and he'll fill you with faith. And then Jesus wants to say to you, your sins are mm. forgiven. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. If you'll turn to Jesus right now and say, Jesus, save me. Jesus will wash away your, yes. your sin and give you a brand new start. You know, Jesus died on the cross on. to pay the price for our sins. Talk about leader. But he didn't stay dead. After three days, Jesus rose from the dead. Mm. And Acts 2.21 says that everyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. And so if you want to give your life to Jesus mm. right now, just call out to Jesus and say, Jesus, save me. And Jesus will forgive your sins, just like he forgave the Come sins on. of that paralyzed man. And then Jesus wants to heal your body. Mm. Perhaps you've been fighting cancer right now. Jesus wants to heal the cancer. Jesus on, wants Daniel. to take away the sickness and the pain yeah. from your body. That paralyzed man that came to Jesus, Jesus healed the man's body. And Jesus mm. is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so whatever pain you're feeling mm. right now, I want to ask you to take yeah. your hand and place it on the part of your body where there's pain. If you have a headache, just put your hand on your head. If you've had back pain, just place your hand on your back. Mm. And right now, I believe that Jesus can touch you. There's no distance in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my friend. Lord, I pray that you would heal my friend right now. Be healed in, in the name of Jesus. I, I come against the spirit of cancer. Cancer, be gone in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, be gone in the name of Jesus. I speak to back pain, be gone in the name of Jesus. Headaches, be gone in the name of Jesus. Just reach out to Jesus with your faith right now. He is waiting to touch you. His, his hand is long. You're, you're, just reach out your hand right now. Your, your arm might be short, but his arm is very long and he's reaching out and he's going to touch you right where you are. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In so in, of Jesus. in Ethiopia, I was preaching this sermon. I was telling people, God wants to encourage you. God wants to forgive your sin and God wants to heal you. And, and at the end of the sermon, something strange happened. Uh, I saw people leave the back of the audience. And, you know, as a preacher, you always kind of feel bad mm -hmm. when, when people walk away. I was like, oh, man, I, I must have said something wrong or they got offended or something. And they, they walked away. But then a few minutes later, I saw one of the greatest displays of faith that I've ever seen. Those same people that walked away, I saw them coming back and they were carrying a bed. And they went to, back home to get grandma who was laying in bed. She was so weak, she couldn't come. And so they picked up the entire bed and they brought it back, carrying that bed over the top of the crowd. And they brought the bed and laid it right in front of the platform because grandma wanted to be healed. And then I saw another bed come and another bed. Four or five groups of people were bringing beds of sick people there because they needed a healing touch from mm. Jesus. Mm. And so God did tremendous miracles there in Ethiopia. 
And then just most recently, I was in Sierra Leone. And in Sierra Leone... Partly Muslim country. Yeah, right? it's, yeah. Uh, Sierra Leone, it, the nation is about 70% Muslim. Mm. And they're not real super militant Muslim. They're right. just kind of Muslim mm -hmm. by tradition. Right. And, and so we had Muslims in every single one of our services. As a matter of fact, we did a three-day pastor's conference. And we never gave an altar call because we thought all the pastors were saved. But at the end, we found out that there were two imams that had come, the, the <laughs> leaders of the Muslim mosque. And they're like, we need to give an altar call because you never know, there might be someone there who, who needs to be saved. And, and so one of the neat testimonies that Incredible. came in Sierra Leone was we had hired a cameraman from the television studio. So he works in a television studio in uh, Freetown, the capital, and we were looking for someone who could so it'd be like us coming to your TV yeah. studio and say, can you give us your best cameraman? Yeah. So, he came, so he came with us to, the, to our outreaches, and he was there with his camera. He was taking pictures, taking videos of, of everything, and, and he was a Muslim. He was from the Mandingo tribe. Yeah. In the Mandingo tribe, 99% of the Mandingo tribe is Muslim. Yeah. To be Mandingo is to be Muslim. And, and Muslims, you know, my, you know my pastor, yeah. former Muslim from Iran, uh, they know Jesus as a prophet, but they do not know the supernatural. So what happened? Yeah, so, so <laughs> he was there in every service. We were doing seven services a day, going from village to village, preaching the gospel. He's seeing all so these he, miracles. So all week long, he's seeing the miracles, he's hearing, hearing the Jesus. gospel over and over again. And the last day that we were there, we did a big baptism service for all the villagers who had gotten saved. And he came to us the night before, he says, I want to be baptized. Wow. And we said, do you know what that means? He says, yeah, that means that I want to be Christian and I want to serve Jesus. I believe Jesus is the son of God. And we say, wow, that is amazing. And so the next day wow. we baptized the Muslim cameraman and he became a Christian. And for the viewers, and, some may know this, but to be a Muslim and convert to Christianity in their culture, the penalty is death. So incredible. Yeah, it, it's a huge deal. And then he has eight family members. So the next day we sent a pastor there to talk with his family members and, and all eight of the family members got saved. His entire family <laughs> is going to be serving Jesus. And so, so that was such a great miracle. Then I was in this one little village. It was in the middle of the night, there were, there were bugs flying all over the place wow. and we were praying for the sick. There was this little boy who was deaf in one ear. And I, I told the, the audience, I said, take your hand and place it on the part of your body where there's pain. And so the mother of this little boy, she took her hand and, and she placed it on her son's ear. And as we prayed, a black rock or a, like a growth fell out of the ear into her hand. And she said it was gross and she shook it off onto the ground. And then she tested her son's hearing and he was able to hear. Praise God. And so he came up and we tested his hearing in front of the, the entire village. Everyone was clapping yeah. and cheering because God had took, take this boy, he'd been deaf in his ear for three years and whatever that growth is, or God just j yanked it right wow. out of his ear and, and he was completely healed. I love that. You know, we're, we're getting ready to see a video about some of this, but you know, friend, the Bible says in Romans 8, 11, the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead is in you and gives life to your body if you're a believer in Jesus Christ. And what you're doing is you're saying, hey, you got Jesus' DNA. You're doing it in classrooms around America, but you're also taking it and demonstrating God's power. That is the genuine gospel. So I thank you for standing up and being called and obeying God's call on you and your wife and your team. Let's see this video about how you can get involved as people that are watching. And we'll be right back with Dr. and Evangelist Daniel King in just a moment. Hi, I'm Daniel King and I'm a missionary evangelist and I'm excited about leading people to Jesus. I'm the founder of King Ministries International and our focus is evangelism. Many churches and missionaries focus on feeding the sheep. Our goal is to find lost sheep and bring them back to the church so that they can start the discipleship process. We are excited about bringing people to Jesus. When I was 10 years old, my parents became missionaries in the country of Mexico, and I became passionate about going and telling people about Jesus. When I was 15 years old, I set a goal to lead a million people to Jesus before I turned 30 years of age. And by the grace of God, we were able to accomplish that goal. Now our goal is to lead a million people to Jesus every single year. 
That's why we do large evangelistic festivals. We do leadership training to help local pastors become better at leading people. We also do literature distribution to help follow up on new believers and disciple them. And we do humanitarian relief to help those who are hurting. And it's all for one purpose, to lead a million people to Jesus every single year. I met my wife, Jessica, right on the border of Rwanda and Congo in the middle of Africa. And now together, we have visited 70 plus nations around the world and we have led over 2 million people in a salvation prayer. Over our 20 years of ministry, it's cost an average of about $1 for every person that we've been able to reach for Jesus. That's amazing. For only $1, we're able to change someone's eternal destiny. And so today, I want to ask you to give your first dollar to help us lead someone to Jesus. You can give by going to our website, www.kingministries.com and clicking on the donate button or call us toll free 1-877-431-4276. Imagine when you get to heaven and someone that you help lead to Jesus comes over and gives you a hug. You know, the Bible says that all of heaven rejoices when one sinner gets saved. And so one dollar can start a party in heaven. I wanna ask you to give today, give a dollar to help us lead someone to Jesus. I'm Daniel King, I'm a missionary evangelist, and our goal is every soul. Well, that's the goal of this network, our founder and president, Bob Dander, every soul in every home. And I'm, again, I'm honored and thrilled that you have joined us. And I wanna, I wanna say to you, friend, Every dollar is a destiny, and literally, uh, I know this man is faithful, and so if you want to help him go, you can give safe and securely right there. The website's on the screen and the phone number, and again, say that website address. <laughs> yeah, if you want to give, just go to kingministries.com or give me a call, 1-877-431-4276. I want to encourage you to partner with us at least a dollar a month. For one dollar, you can start a party in heaven every single month. The Bible says that all of heaven rejoices when just one sinner gets saved. Mm. And over all the years of ministry that we've done, we've found that we're able to reach at least one person for every dollar that people have given us. And so if you want to join with us, go to the website, kingministries.com, start giving a dollar a month, even just a dollar. Maybe yeah. you could do $10, maybe you could do $50, $30 whatever. a month, $1 a day for yeah. the gospel, yeah. And, and so whatever you can do, go yeah. and become a partner with us and help yeah. us to lead people to Jesus. Yeah. We can't do it without your help. That's right. You know, someone said one time, either go and say or stay and pray or help pay the way. Amen. And so by giving, you can help us go and lead people to Jesus. Amen. And you can be responsible for taking people out of hell and into heaven, Amen. helping rescue their eternal destiny. Amen. And so right now, today, go to kingministries.com, start by giving a dollar a month or even more, whatever God puts on your heart. That's so yep. easy. Yep. Just go kingministries.com or give me a call, 1-877-431-4276. Yep. Amen. And your latest book, we've got a few minutes left here, Proof That God Is Real. Um, tell us why you wrote that book. You have a study guide and why it's so important. I wrote this book because America needs proof God is real. Mm -hmm. You know, we've done all of these huge outreaches in these different nations around the world. 70 but plus. <laughs> I, I, I started praying for America and realized there are things that are wrong here in America. That's right. And we need to reach people here in America just like we're reaching people overseas. That's right. And, and so over in Africa, people will walk two or three days to come to our crusades, but I was asking God, how can I reach people here in America? And I began to look on Twitter and Facebook and, and YouTube, these different social media sites, and I saw that there's a very strong presence of atheism atheists who are actively trying to tell people that there is no God, that Jesus did not really rise from the dead. And mm. I realized that if we're going to reach people here in America, we need to confront those questions and those issues. And so I wrote this book, 
proof God is real mm. so that we can confront the spirit of atheism that has been attacking the nation of America. And so I think that every church in America needs to yeah. use this, this book, Proof God is Real, and the study guide in their Sunday school classes. And you have they an e-book. <laughs> we got an e-book. They need to use these in their Sunday school classes mm -hmm. to tell people what, what they believe and why they believe it. How can we know mm -hmm. that God really is real? And then parents, if they have teenagers, yeah. they need their teenagers to go through this book before they leave for college. Because once they leave for college, they're going to run into all kinds of atheistic philosophies and professors that have weird philosophies that That's they're right. teaching. And, right. and so young people, before they leave for college, they need to read this book yeah. in order to know what they believe and why they believe it. Mm -hmm. and, and so in this book, I, I answer the questions that America is asking today. The three biggest questions, is God there? Does God care? And do I dare to live for him? Mm. Proof that God is real. And again, go to kingministries.com or call that number on the screen. Uh, that website, you can get that book, uh, order it. And, uh, you know, this isn't about trying to get money or trying to sell books. We're just simply saying you need this resource. It's a tool. And now more than ever, my friend George Barna, who we know is the stats guru in America, some people may or may not know, he says today in America, uh, amidst all these churches, all this Christian media, 6% today have a biblical worldview. Romans 1.16, we know it says, this gospel is the power of God and salvation for the Jew and everyone that believes. And so what you're trying to do is saying, hey, let's give proof that God is real to everyone. If you're a mother, grandmother, father, and you care about your child or, or your, your grandson, your granddaughter, this book is for them. Not because we're trying to sell you a book, but because it will change their life and give them a biblical worldview foundation. They need that before they go into these schools. I mean, if you don't catch it by the time they're 10 nowadays, man, it can be in trouble because we're being so indoctrinated in our school systems. Even our Christian schools have, have left, lost sight of the Great Commission, not the great su you know, suggestion, the Great Commission. Yeah, we're st told to go into all the world and, and yeah. preach the gospel to, to every creature. And, and, and so if you've ever been confronted by someone who challenged you with questions, this book will help you to answer those yes. questions. People say, how do you know God is real? Why is there suffering in the world? Did mm. Jesus really live? Did he really rise from the dead? This book will help to give you intelligent mm. answers to those questions to help build people up in their faith in, in Jesus Christ. And so I'd encourage you to, to yeah. go to the website and get a copy of the book, Proof God is Real. If you want to prove God is real in your life, this book will help you to do that. And I want to ask you to help us to take this message mm. to America and around the world. Yeah. Please partner with us. Yeah. A dollar a month, you can start to help us <laughs> reach people for Jesus. Yeah. And, and just go to the website and partner with us and, and help us to lead yeah. America and nations around the world yeah. to Jesus Christ. I appreciate the fact, we got about 30 seconds, Daniel, but I appreciate the fact that you're focused on America now more than ever. We need it. So America any parting needs words, Jesus. parting words. <laughs> I want to encourage you to reach out to Jesus. Call to Jesus and he will save you of everything you've ever done that's wrong. Call to Jesus right now. Say, Jesus, save me. Amen. Well, thank you, brother. And thank you, friend, for watching across your Christian television network or that digital media platform. Until next week, same time, same place. We will see you soon across your Christian television network. God bless you.